My name is Daniel Ibrahim Kamara. I am from Sierra Leone, West Africa. I originally hailed from the north. My parents are from the north, but I grew up in the um, capital, Freetown, where I did my high school and university. I think what, what brings me to the house, what brought me to the house was the fact that I got admitted to UC Berkeley um, through the MasterCard um, Scholars Foundation, uh, through the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program. And um, it's, it's actually a requirement in the program to be the eye house for um, the first academic year of your studies and then you can um, choose to stay or leave. But beyond that, I think the in my little research that I did about the eye house before coming, I understand that um, there is a lot of diversity and um, cultural experience that I am open to if I live in the eye house. And this I appreciate a lot because um, being here for like six months already, I have met several people from different backgrounds. I think about 90 or 100 countries represented here, which is so amazing to me. And I think it's a good choice that I made to stay in the eye house. I reflect on the wonderful contributions Africans have made in the world. I think it's important for us to um, understand where we are from as Africans, where we are, um, what we are up to, and where we are going to. And history, um, as history does not only tell you know, the past, but it's actually explain what the present is and it has effects on the future. So it is essential as Africans, personally as an individual, as an African, to talk about Africa, you know, so that the world will know that we are not that dark continent, we are not that underdeveloped continent, because I believe we are richer than any other continent in the world. And it's important that we learn that and understand or know recognize people who have contributed to the development of the continent and the globe at large. Um, one of the things that we've suffered from as Africans is um, colonialism, which did not only affect our socioeconomic um, um, affairs as Africans, but also created a means of disuniting us in minds, in thoughts, in reasoning as Africans, bringing limitations and boundaries now we have east africa west africa north africa all of these people have uh, different cultures different things that they do now and this is fueled by colonialism so one person that stood out to bring africans together you know was kwame nkrumah and i admire him so much so i love learning about him as an inspire as an aspiring politician i believe um, people like that can motivate me to bring the continent back together because I believe that one thing that enables development in the continent is collaboration and unity. So he inspires me a lot, and I love reading his books. He's, he's a great man.